we're asked to solve a trig equation in quadratic form and give the solutions on the interval from zero to two pi where the interval is closed on zero and opened on two pi. We're also told to round the final solutions to three decimal places. So while the equation is in quadratic form, it is not factorable, and therefore we have to apply the quadratic formula in order to solve. Applying the quadratic formula, notice a is equal to eight, b is equal to negative four, and c is equal to negative three. Now when applying the quadratic formula, instead of x on the left, we will have cosine theta. And I've already performed the substitutions to save some time. Again, where a is equal to eight, b is equal to negative four, and c is equal to negative three. Simplifying, we have cosine theta is equal to the quantity four plus or minus the square root of 112, all divided by 16. Remember, we have two values here, so now we have to solve cosine theta is equal to the quantity four plus the square root of 112 divided by 16, where this value is approximately 0 0.9114. We also have to solve cosine theta is equal to the quantity four minus the square root of 112 divided by 16, where this value is approximately negative 0 0.4114. To solve these equations for theta, we take the inverse cosine of both sides of the equation. On the left, we need to solve theta is equal to inverse cosine of 0 0.9114 over the interval from zero to two pi. And then we also have to solve theta is equal to inverse cosine of negative 0 0.4114 over the same interval. Because we don't have nice cosine function values, this is going to require a calculator. So going to the calculator, we first wanna make sure the calculator is in radian mode, which this calculator is. From here we click functions, Click on inverse cosine and enter 0 0.9114, enter. To three decimal places, we have 0 0.424 radians. Let's go ahead and record this, but we're not done. Notice how the cosine function value is positive. On the coordinate plane, cosine is positive or x is positive, which means we're looking for an angle in the first quadrant as well as the fourth quadrant where the cosine function value is approximately 0 0.9114. And the calculator gave us the angle in the first quadrant of 0 0.424 radians. Let's go ahead and sketch that angle. Let's say the terminal side is approximately here. Notice how the reference angle to this angle is 0 0.424 radians, which would also be the reference angle for the angle in the fourth quadrant that has the same cosine function value. So let's go ahead and sketch the angle in the fourth quadrant, this angle here, that has a reference angle of 0 0.424 radians. So the angle in the fourth quadrant is going to be this angle here, which would be two pi radians minus 0 0.424 radians. So we also have theta is approximately two pi minus 0 0.424 radians. So going back to the calculator, we click on the main tab, we can enter two pi minus 0 0.424, enter. To three decimal places, we have 5.859 radians. So let's go ahead and record these two solutions. We have 0 0.424 radians, comma, 5.859 radians. And now we need to solve theta equals inverse cosine of negative 0.4114, again, over the interval from zero to two pi radians. We'll notice here the cosine function value is negative. Cosine is negative where x is negative. So now we're looking for an angle in the second quadrant, as well as the third quadrant, that has a cosine function value of negative 0.4114. We'll find the first angle using the calculator. Click functions, click inverse cosine, enter negative 0.4114, enter. To three decimal places, we have 1.995 radians. One point nine nine five is between pi over two and pi, so the calculator gave us the angle in the second quadrant. Let's go ahead and sketch that angle. Let's say it's approximately here. To find the angle in the third quadrant that has the same cosine function value, we need to find the reference angle for this angle 
because the reference angle for the angle in the third quadrant will be the same. So the reference angle, the angle here formed by the terminal side and the x-axis is going to be pi minus 1.995 radians. which is approximately 1.147 radians. So again, the angle in the third quadrant, this angle here, will have the same reference angle of 1.147 radians, which means the angle in the third quadrant that has a cosine function value of negative 0.4114 is going to be pi radians plus 1.147 radians. which to three decimal places is 4.289 radians. So our equation has four solutions over the interval from zero to two pi. We have 0 0.424 radians, 5.859 radians, 1.995 radians, as well as 4.289 radians. I hope you found this helpful.